Welcome to the tutorial on how to add an SMTP carrier into PageGate. The first step is to run the PageGate admin. So, go to your Start menu, go to your Programs, find the PageGate Program Group, and left-click on the PageGate admin. When the program comes up, if you're using the trial version, you'll see this prompt. Left-click on the Continue button. Left-click on the plus sign next to Connectors, then Global. Then left-click on the SMTP subsection. In the SMTP section, you should see the following fields. The local domain field identifies where your messages are coming from, not where they're going to. The information entered into the local domain field must be the end of a valid email address. I recommend using the latter half of your email address. For example, I'm going to use notepage.com, since I want people to know that that's where my messages have come from. After entering the local domain, you'll notice that we have a few other fields. To know which fields to use, we first need to determine if port 25 is open on your computer. Here's how to do that. The first step is to left-click on your Start menu, then select Run. In the Run line, type the word Command, C-O-M-M-A-N-D, and left-click on OK. After the command prompt comes up, you'll want to type in this specific sequence. Telnet, T E L N E T, space, mail, M A I L, period, note page, N O T E P A G E, dot com, dot C O M, space, the number two, and the number five. After you've entered that line, hit enter on your keyboard. Now, if port 25 is open, you'll receive this response. If port 25 is closed, you'll receive a notification that says unable to connect to the host on port 25. Once you've finished with the command prompt, in all capital letters, type the word QUIT, Q-U-I-T, and hit enter. The connection will then close. Hit the backspace key on your keyboard to return to the base command prompt, then type the word EXIT and hit enter to exit the command prompt. Back in PageGate, if port 25 is open, Verify that your primary and secondary DNS servers are entered into DNS 1 and 2. If you're unsure as to what these are, please contact your network administrator or Internet Service Provider's tech support. If port 25 is closed on your network, put a check in Relay All Mail. In the Relay Server field, you'll need to enter the address of your local mail server. If you're unsure as to what this is, please contact your network administrator or Internet Service Provider's tech support. Left click on Apply to save these settings. Now that we've determined the method of SMTP delivery, we can add an SMTP carrier. Find the Carrier section, right click on it, and then left click on Add. In the Carrier field, enter the name of the carrier you're going to be sending the messages to. Examples of carriers are Page Plus, American Messaging, Sprint, and AT&T. Once you've entered the carrier's name, left click on the drop down arrow next to the Protocol section and then select SMTP from the list. Leave the port at the default, 25. The next field, Max Characters, determines the maximum number of characters that this carrier can receive in a single message. Typically, for cell phone carriers, this should be set to 160. For paging carriers, it should be set to 240. Left-click on Apply to add your carrier into the available carriers list. This concludes the tutorial on how to add an SMTP carrier into PageGate. For more tutorials, including how to add an SMTP recipient, please visit our website, www.notepage.net.